Hello my dear viewer, Sabar Hussain with a new lecture. Today we are going to look at the role of line managers, how the organization performance could be enhanced by using the role of line managers, how the HR can devolve its responsibilities to the line managers. Managers have several layers like the onion has. Let us take a look some of the layers of the managers before we move on to the role of the line managers. The first layer that is the top management layer. What is the top management layer? The top management layers that covers the C-level managers. The position held by the C-level managers are the CEO, or maybe COO or the VP. In some organizations, CFO, CIO and CHR, i.e. Chief Financial Officer, Chief Information Officer and Chief Human Resource may also be involved in developing the strategy of the organizations. So we're going to look in the following slide on, the, on their role. The second is the middle line managers, those are the managers and the head of departments. Lastly, and we are going to more focus on the role of the line managers that we could say also the A-level managers. These are the first line managers such as the foreman, supervisor, operation managers who get involved with the day-to-day -day operations. Let us have a look the role of three management layers. Top management, we're going to focus on that is top level management is long term goals. The employees who are on the top levels, these are the executives. They develop the strategy for the organizations, develop the plan, they think where the organization is and where the organization want to go and provide the direction to the organization as a whole. The second is that is related to the middle managers. Interpret the plans and set actions. Coordinate employee activities. They set the short term plans. Develop the structure of the organizations and also link the activities through the structures of the employee's role and determine which goods and services to be provided. Decide how to market goods and service. This is the middle level managers that coordinate the activities, then motivate the employees and identify also the staffing requirements for the short term. Lastly, the line managers, the line manager very closely working with the employees have direct responsibility in producing the goods and services and employees direct report to them. So these are the three layers, top level management that is developing the strategies, middle level management perform the role of liaison between the top level management and the first line management. Then the last level that is the first line managers are the A level managers. They are focusing on the day to day operation. It is stated that an engaging manager is the heart of success in engaging the workforce. Very important. We need to think over it. If the manager, the first line manager is engaged, will his or her employee engaged? The study states, yes, the more the, the line manager is engaged, the more the employee will be engaged in the day-to-day -day operations. Very important. The line manager must have to be engaged in order to enhance the performance of the organizations. 
Now, how the HR department involve the line managers or devolve the responsibility to the line managers? Those are related to the human resource management and HR department work as a business partner, as a strategic partner with the top level management, with the middle level management and cascade down the HR policies and procedures to the line managers and through the line managers to the employees. Let us take one example on that, that is the annual operating plan. Organization is going to develop the organization, the annual operating plan. Human resource department is responsible for the people plan. How many employees the organization need for the following years. HR department send the template with the current employees to the line managers. These are your current employees. You have to determine how many employees you need it in the following years. Work together. Then the new employees, when they come on board, the, the HR department develop the induction or the orientation uh, programs and in coordination with the line managers and the top management, human resource department conduct the orientations. Very important in order to enhance the performance of the organization, or orientation is playing a pivotal role. The organizations who are following the orientation or the induction programs, their performance is enhanced multifold, many times. New employees feel easy, they feel comfortable, and they become more productive very quickly. Then the human resource department initiate the performance management schemes and the line manager implement it. Through the performance management uh, plans or when the performance management schemes are launched by the HR department, line managers identify the training requirements and the, give them the reward those are high performer those are high flyers are stars in coordination with the HR department line managers also implement the policies those are developed by the HR department they are very close to the employees it is the line manager who can make or break the organizations so coordination is very important between the HR department and the line management for the success of the organizations. Let us take a look at graphical representations. Just look at this one, the induction and socializations. Then it is a review and appraise the performance, reinforce performance standards, counseling and supporting. All this is done by the line managers. HR department just initiate the process. It is the line managers who implement it. What is the benefit of the line managers? Line managers implement the policies that are developed by the HR department. What the a line manager is going to get? Let us take a look on that. When the line managers, they implement the policies, they work very closely to the employees, they understand the resources the employee needs to achieve the organizational goals. And the line manager provide the, goal, uh, provide the resources and continuously line managers they receive the feedback from the employees and if there is need to take the corrective action line managers take the actions and also the line manager understand the skill gap what are the competencies required for the position 
to achieve the goal what are the competencies employee is having once the employees and manager work together they understand each other they share their knowledge and skills they share their goals and they share the performance and the manager has the opportunity to have a chat with the employees if the employee is underperformer what is the reason maybe there is a problem of uh, a problem of the skill that need to address it succession planning when the managers work with the line, with the employees they have the opportunity to see to see who are the high flyers who are the high potentials and who could be its successor for the positions that are the management level so they have an opportunity to develop the succession plan and develop the shadow and delegations they delegate the they delegate their responsibilities to the employees who are competent and more focusing on the counseling and also advising the employees very important line managers cannot do all the work the provide the counseling suggestions and guide the employees how to improve their performance and more focusing on counseling side it is not easy in one side these are the employees and other side the management this is the role of the management management is a tug of war this is from one side employees one side management managers want the to maximize the productivity and efficiency of the organizations by capitalizing the employees capabilities are making best use of its resources to ensure that the organization could maximize the efficiency and the productivity and on the other hand what the employees are looking they are maximizing their career aspirations and looking for promotions managers always think do more with less and employees on the other hand they develop their skills they want to work very smartly to accomplish the goal organization is looking for multi skilling and multi functioning and employees seeking opportunities to learn and develop market skill to develop themselves to enhance their careers very important so it is a tug of war that is the management that perform the role how to make balance to ensure that the organization could achieve the goals the through the employees and the employees are happy healthy and take care of their well beings so very important if the employees are satisfied certainly their performance will be high so that is management role that is performed by the line managers however managers are professional in their field they might not be well equipped in dealing with the peoples or sometime the work they they have a pressure of the work and competing work priorities they do not focus on the hr activities and maybe sometimes the lack of skills and knowledge they don't know how to initiate the performance management how to evaluate the employees and it becomes a problem they fail to motivate the employees sometimes the management does not provide the support to the line managers the line manager is very good he or she is very effective communicator know the work very well motivate the employees 
but management says they don't want to increase the salary, they don't want to reward the employees, then the manager become demotivated and also that could lead to the lack of commitment that could impact the performance of the organization. Here the role of the HR work as a strategic partner, as a business partner, as a change agent, as a guardian of the organizations, as employee champion. This is the role of the HR. In that case, the HR will advise and support. HR will have a meeting with the line manager, explain the regulations of the country because the line manager does not know. Explain how to evaluate the employees, how to identify the training requirements, and also HR department involve the line managers and the top management in the day-to-day -day operations to the line managers, in the strategic operations, strategic decisions, the top level management, the C level management, on recruitment and selections, when we develop the policies and procedures, when we hire the employees, we involve them. When we develop the policies and procedures, HR does not develop the policies and procedures sitting in a house, in one room, no. Need to conduct the survey, employee satisfaction survey, need to have meetings with the employees to understand the view of the employees because at the end it is the employee who can who generate the revenue and then when we establish the performance management system we sit with the line manager and the top managers decide about the budget how much increase will be given at the end of the year and what is the criteria on that Similarly, that is, we impart the training to the line managers on effective communications, leaderships, problem solving and decision making, very important. And also, we guide the line managers how to set the KPIs for the employees and how to measure it. My dear knowledge worker, this is a two-way. In order to enhance the performance of the organization, it is very important, it is overarching for the HR department to work with the line managers and the line managers collaborate with the HR department in the day-to-day -day operations. Then the performance of the organization will increase, it will th thrive. The old says that what is good for the goose is good for the grander. What is good for the line manager will be the same good for the employee, the same will be good for also the HR, the same will be good for the organization, the stakeholder, the shareholders, and also for the country where the organization is operating. These are the uh, videos that have been already placed on the YouTubes and our next lecture is on the performance appraisals. We will look into the employee appraisals and employee appraisal performs, uh, performance. We will look into it and I hope this lecture gave benefit to you and should you have any comments please feel free to improve uh, to improve the performance and how I can better serve the community, you can send the email saber underscore sh at the rate hotmail.com. Thank you again for watching this lecture. Bye.